Hey guys, my name is Zeniak and welcome back to another episode of Snowtown here in City Skylines. Where guys, today is the day that we finally make some progress on building our very own ski resort. It's going to be a lot of fun, we're going to have ski slopes, people actually skiing, we're going to have... Uh, uh, ski lifts <laughs> You can tell I've never been to a ski resort before you can really tell now I've never actually played around with some of the modern stuff within this kind of ski package or whatever So there's gonna be a lot of umming and ahhing a lot of uh, trying to figure it all out But as long as you guys can bear with me, it should be a lot of fun last episode guys We got in uh, more of the kind of uh, infrastructure, which has really helped us out Uh Quite a bit to be honest with you. We spent a little bit of the um, industrial area with the offices. We added in uh, the kind of a subway system which kind of tears through which is really really handy. And we extended more of our beautiful ore industry and added in a little cargo shipping area to get things up and running. And it's going pretty damn well. We've managed to reduce a lot of the traffic just by simply adding in our cargo shipping areas. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Now, you might be looking, yo, something seems a little bit different about Snowtown, and I can't quite put my finger on it. Well, I'll tell you this right now. If you have noticed, it looks even more whiter than before. And that's because, right, this is what it kind of looked like before. Uh, the whole of the Snowtown map, and I didn't realize uh, until you can kind of view it here, uh, had all the kind of uh, ore around it so what i did is i removed a lot of the ore around the map just so the snow looks a little bit more whiter and this looks a little bit more crisper which can be a lot of fun so guys if you are enjoying snow time and want to see more episodes on this then please make sure you smash that like button down below if you are new around here make sure you subscribe so you're notified when that next episode comes out but things are rocking and rolling and are going in the right direction and today we're going to take a look at over here where we're going to build our little ski resort now I have a few different things that we need to use and I kind of have to show you where they are. Now when it comes to the cable cars, we have these modded stuff here which allows us to do ski lifts and the ski cables there. I also have in the tours uh, what is known as a ski skier spawn, ski staging, there we go, which is pretty much like acts like a bus thing. We have to kind of do like a little bus route in a way, but then reskin the bus routes. I think it's actually to do with a walking tour. Uh, reskin them to um, to skiers. So there's a lot of little bit of things that we kind of have to do. And we have in the parks and plaza section as well, a load of snow related resort stuff that we get to add in. I also need to use the find it thingy mod as well because I need to do the ski trails, which I can't, a lot of this stuff I don't know where it is. So we're gonna have to find it ourselves, which is gonna be a lot of fun anyway. We need to set up some sweet little slopes within these little mountains. So what we're going to do then, we're going to smoothen off some of these edges. So increase my brush size a little bit. So I can, I'll pause it for a second. We'll, oh, wrong button. Wrong button, that's not, the, that's not the smoothener. We're going to smoothen them so we can create some really nice like tr trails, some nice little runs. Uh, for the skiers and whatnot, so we'll kind of go right. We actually need, might need to buy some more land. Yeah, how much have I got? Oh, I've got plenty of money right now. Right, buy you. I'm gonna buy you, and I'm gonna buy all of these up here. We might as well while we've now got the cash money moolah in our pockets. There we go. So we now got loads of loads of money to work with right now. This is actually gonna be quite exciting. So back to this, instead of smoothing of it. And uh, I'm just going to kind of briefly kind of glimpse over it. So create these, uh, just so it kind of goes with all within the theme and whatnot. And there's some nice little trails that we can add in and run through. But we've also got to sort out where the entrance point is going to be as well. So if I smoothen this out a little bit more than usual, bring down our brush size a little bit, pick a spot, and I think around about here, so I can ele elevate, I'm about to say levitate, elevate this up slightly. That can be a nice little base, and then just smoothing it off. Some areas were smooth more than others. To kind of get it up and running. But it creates a nice little foundation, a nice little base to our little ski resort. And that's where we're pretty much going to have it. So we're going to need some roads leading up to it as well, but we'll sort that out in just a moment. I think what we should do... For look at these little bumps and stuff. I think what we should do first is play with the mud, just to kind of get a basic understanding of how it's going to work. Because I have no freaking idea. I'll be honest with you now, guys. I have no idea. So, 
we're gonna need then uh, what's this here so we have a staging area for skiers at the summit so that's where we put at the very top of it functions as a bus station with four stops so pretty much within that we have think of it as four lanes basically and let's say what's that line there it's it's, it's for the airport uh, the, the airplane sorry so yeah that triggers us that then we have a ski spawner what's, what does this do uh, a skier spawn point so i think we pull it with on the trail itself so if that goes there and i think i then need my ski trails which can i make come off do i have to anarchy this if i make it go down this way is that how it works I mean, it's all going in one direction. What do I do is these ski trails? Create realistic ski slopes. Ski trails are invisible by lane. Uh, uh, allows uh, bus stops uh, used with skier spawn points to create a sightseeing bus route. Ah, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. But you don't normally see it all within this anyway. Is there anything else I've missed out that I just don't know about just yet? I don't think so. I don't think so. So... Oh, there's a the ski slopes. Yeah, okay. So with that said, then with the tours, we do the staging. If I just place that there, I think I know what I'm doing. And then, where's it with the path then? All right, delete that one more time. Uh, skier staging. We put that there. So hopefully, we, it knows what we're doing. We can only guess. So if I brought that to there, and then brought that to there, it, it's also not connected to any roads just yet, which is fine. So then what we would do is create a sightseeing tour. Once you understand the basics of this, we're good to go. So skier spawn now must be placed by a roadside. Okay. That's not what I'm focusing on at the moment. We do a, a sightseeing tour. So if we start there, it can... No? Can't go there. Okay, let me cancel that. Have I done the right one? Ski sport. Ski ski staging. Is it? A, it's not a bus one, is it? Come on, it can't be a bus route. I don't have buses in just yet. Um. Right, ski staging. Ski spawn. Which one was it? The skiing trails. Ski spawn points. Oh, it's a sightseeing bus tour. No, isn't that what I was just done? That's walking points of interest. It's one of these. Right, okay. Let me just quickly drop this down. Right, so we create this bus thingy right now. And I take it we've got to take it all the way back up. But how would you take it back up? Would you like... I mean, because you can't make them ski up the thing, can you? Hmm. Right, delete you. And let me kind of take it back then, so ski trails. Back up to there. I think I've got this. Right, delete you off. Complete the line. So that's it's a little bit difficult to see, but that completes the line. But then what I do is I go into the sightseeing bus tours and I change the model to a skier. Right. And maybe at some point, I see a skier appear. Or not. I think I might have to get those actually attached to a road. To be honest with you. And my road is currently in the air. <laughs> it's a great start already. It's a great start. And where's that one? just there so do we then start to see him working oh do you know what it could be actually let me pause for a second it could be the fact that this is over here and it's not connected to my thingy there we go oh my god oh my god hold on right now, technically, it's a, it's a sightseeing tour, but we don't need to talk about what it actually is right now. We're about to see a skier go down. So, we'll just wait for a split second. 
and it's going down. And if I made it all windy and bendy, that's going to be a lot of fun. So that's kind of how it works, right? Okay. That's the gist of it, right? So let me just get rid of all this. It's a little bit difficult to see it all. I need to get rid of the, the, the tour. Where's um my tours here? I right, get rid of you. Goodbye. Right, we got we got we kinda got it, right? I think I think we kinda get it. But we gotta make it look nice anyway, because we have all this stuff to place down to make it look even more beautiful. So if I had then a road leading up to this area, we build a nice little car park, create a nice little base area, put some ski slopes going up to the top of the mountains, they can ski down. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be so damn good. So damn good right now. Now, we got to figure out how we're leading up the road to it. So I could even make a road come directly up here and go up to there. I could rechange this by this kind of filters down straight that would eventually connect around there, a loop. That's probably what I want to do, which I mean I have to create this into a little T-junction. Yeah, that might be the way to go forward on that front. So pause, and we're going to delete this bend. So the bend happens... Well... We'll get rid of it from there anyway. And let me turn the anarchy off as well. So keeping this going straight-ish. Right, and we'll bring it just to there. And I want it to go a little bit straighter beforehand. So if I bring this to here. And right, we're going to have to anarchy it to make it go underneath. If I bring that to there. So I delete this to put us a, a little bend on it. And then here, we'll make the road go like this. Right, so we delete that. Actually, let me, let me redo that. Like that. So that's how we're going to make it go around. But obviously we're going to make it a little bit more beautiful. If that makes sense. And that'll be our main road. Main looped road that goes around the region. So turn the anarchy off now then. So we're on a 24 by 24. Just like that. We cut off that little section. Cut off that little section just there. And that becomes a 11 by 11. That's actually a pretty cool bend. Uh, 11 by 12. Okay, we'll go with that. So that bends around there. And this is how we're creating our little looped system. Just from the outer ring road before we add any other types of roads in. So where is the point on this one? Or do I go from this side? All right, 29 by 35. 29 by 29 just to there. So we've kind of had to make that little bend up there. But I'm sure they will change as time goes on. I'm sure they will change. But we do have these little roads that kind of bend round. And I think some of them we can make them a little bit more defined than others. Like if I tried this one again. Which is just there. 20 by 20. It's more of a, a wider bend going around. And this one get a little bit sharper. Okay. We'll go with that. For now, we're just going to have a T-junction. Just there. So that keeps us rocking and rolling. And that will lead us up to this part then. So we want to create a nice little section. So I think we'll pump it up from here. So I'll bring it up from about there. Now bring it up by 20 to begin with. And that could maybe lead to a connection directly down. It could lead to that connection, to be honest with you. If I led this all the way up. To there like that, as a little tear through. Granted, it doesn't really go anywhere after that. But it's like a, a major main cut through road. And then we had 
our little ski slope come out of that. So if I go up by 20, and if I kind of just do a very generic road leading up to this area. And I think we'll have... something like that but then we we're gonna have to like like i always say fine-tune it <laughs> so we'll do these little section first before the middle one because it will make itself disappear so 10 by 8 is the best we're gonna get uh, 13 by oh come on don't snap like that no nope, wrong one 13 by 13 So yeah, I need to keep back off now. And then we get a little bend just here. Seven. By seven. There we go. So that leads up to that area, which would be quite nice. And I think that the, the incline is fine. I don't know whether I should sort out an incline. Let me just see what one would be like. So let me make sure I'm not selecting any trees. And let me do a slope in them. Hmm. Yeah, let me undo. We don't need it to this point, do we? Hold on. So if I take it from there to here instead. Or just undo. I think it looks okay as it is. I don't think there's much we need to do on that front. I think the incline's just fine. So that leads up to here then. We kind of get our roads now kind of sorted in a, in a, you know, in, in a direction. If things get too a bit hectic over here, you know what happens. Roundabouts come in or get involved. But you don't know how things are going to change when we actually get that second highway up and running. Now this outer road here will probably change many, many different ways as time goes on. But the loops are there if we need it. This leads up to here which we're going to create our little entrance point and a little car park area as well. So it brings us up to it. And I'm trying to think about the best way to do that. Should, should I set a little car park going up alongside it? That might be a, a, an easier way to do it. So if I come up by... I come up by 10 and go straight... Well, we'll go up by 30 there. So you're going to do a nice long strip for a car park. And cut straight in there. Now, I've got to figure out what the best method would be and what the perfect size would be for a car park. So, if I went for that size like that, is that too big? It could probably do with going a little bit closer. And I don't know why I'm upgrading like that, because I can actually just do my own, can't I? Alright, if I start there instead and come down by 30... Like that, maybe. So that is seven across. If I go seven across here and seven across there, how would that fit in another one? Well, okay, that's not seven by seven, is it? Seven by seven there. If I anikied it in, that's how it would look. See, it could work. It could definitely work. Nice little car park in at the top of the hill. And how would this fit in now? So we're going to need a load of these. So if I do one side, then we can copy and paste it over. I love how when it does the car parks on this, it adds the snow in. All right, so if I go about there, we get some of that disabled car parking in. I always find it funny because I do the disabled car park in the middle where they've got to walk the furthest. And throw you in there. And just in there. And then we're going to copy and paste this over. If possible. If it were let us anyway. So let's select it. And nine times out of ten it doesn't. Let's 
So we can try and drag it in. So select no roads. I don't know if that gets classed as a road. Oh, no, we don't. Nice. Duplicate. So straight away we put it here. Put one there. And one just here. I don't know how many vehicles are going to be coming over to this area. But we have the capacity, if needs be, for the car park. There we go. The car park is pretty much all set up there. So it's a lot of car park we've added in. And it's a big amount of car parking. But that would be pretty good. So we've got the fundamentals down then to allow us to build up in this area. Let's kind of get it all up and running. Uh, to, yeah, let's get it all up and running. So... We are going to have... we got a bunch of these buildings to use first. Then. So we have the main ski resort building I can place in. Which, there we go. Which comes with its technically its own park area. Which is quite exciting. So let's zone that. Um, paint park area. Which is calling it shelf... It, it shelf. Calling it itself Sheffield Park. But if you guys want to give me some name suggestions for what we could potentially call this ski resort, let me know in the comment section down below, boys. So I'm going to go for quite a, a wide area to begin with. I don't know exactly know how big it's going to be. But if I go quite big to begin with, and then we'll just small, make it smaller as time goes on. There we go. So you've got the main building in. Uh, the ski resort lodge. Now, does it all need road connections? Or can it be done by via path connections? Let's see. Let's see. If I was to place in a path, I want to see the different types of path I can drop down. Uh, there's that. There's also the gravel path. Uh, which I suppose it doesn't really matter. We'll go with the normal path to begin with. Um, I can't. Oh, I can place these buildings next to it. No, this one needs to be a roadside. Roadside. Okay, it needs to be roadside. I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. So we'll keep it nice and simple then. We'll keep it nice and simple. So we're pulling there. I could put some around the side of this and all that, but we'll use some of this cliff edge here. So if I come up by 10, push it up that way. But also allow this to be pushed up a bit more. There we go. As we create like a, a small little village in a way. So we got the the skle the, the skleen. Oh my god, I can't English today, guys. I can't even English today. We have the uh, sledding hill. <laughs> it wasn't even close, was it? Sledding hill just there. I'm gonna drop a couple of sledding hills. I think that'll be quite nice. The curling park. And again, I do a couple of curling parks. There, we've got the ski lodge. And this is probably what I need a lot more of. And these I can make really nice. Because I can do... Like, um... Sprawling cul-de-sacs in many ways. So I did something like that. That's where you can have all the little ski lodges. Where people can, like, you know, stop over and whatnot. And if we do the same going this way as well, push this up by 10 just there and this one up by 10 as well. I could maybe have... A couple of lodges come from with and off this. Up into the mountains there. So you have some nice, big, sprawling roads. So, uh, season go to add ski hikes just so they get some hot chocolate and they can... So that's pretty much what you get at the bottom of the ski slope, isn't it? Yeah. Where's the um, those buildings? That's the main ski resort building. Ski... Is that the stuff I just got in? Has it all gone backwards now, all this stuff? Snowman Park. I'm confused. Snow gun resort. Ah, there we go. The wooden cabins. The bed, the ski resort bed and breakfast. So this is like the. Can I get it outside the build? I can actually get it outside the the thing. I don't think that's part of the uh, the park area really. So we get a couple of these main buildings in. A couple of bed and breakfasts in. 
that will bulk up the area. Um, we've got the restrooms we're squeezing as well. Drop a couple of these around in general areas. Uh, that's the bed and breakfast, and then we can get all the little log cabins in. So I'll drop a lot of these on some roads, because I want to mishmash them up. That's what we've got to make sure that we do, so it kind of looks semi-authentic. Uh, get a couple just here. We have then the wooden cabins. So how's it looking at this point now? It looks actually pretty good, doesn't it? I feel like we should get more of these buildings in though. Um, because they look like big hotels, don't they? That would fit pretty nice within the theme. Overlooking the mountain range. I uh, get some of these little log cabins in as well. And get some up on this side. Gotta have loads of them in, haven't we? We just have to. And it's slowly coming together. So I know it needs power and whatnot. I get all that. We'll get it in very shortly. But that's where all the lodges are that people can stay in and whatnot. Up here, which is pretty good. So that's at the bottom of the mountain. It's where the main hub of everything is before we add in all the ski slopes. So we've got that in. We also have stuff like this. The, the, oh, oh, little tents and stuff. Can I be placed outside? Yeah, it can. Little, what are they called again? Are they called yuck tents? No, yurt tents, sorry. That's actually pretty cool, isn't it? Another way for people to, to stay in. Just adds that little additional flair to the resort, doesn't it? So I've got a couple of them around. How do they look? They look pretty good, don't they? Man, we've got so much style going on right now. Uh, oh, there's a vehicle already up here. So people are already making their way over. Oh, that doesn't look very safe, that one. Looks a bit weird. But let's bring up some water and power first anyway. And maybe start getting this little place up and running. So I wonder if... Um, you know, let me just kind of zone all this real quick. Is I've never used a park like this before. And I don't know if it's part of the actual game. Or whether... It's something to do with all these mods I've installed. But can you check stuff on it? Where's the name of this right now? It's up here, isn't it? You can actually charge. That's crazy. Now, we have some high expenses <laughs> for this. Um, damn. I can make it the main part, couldn't I? I really could. Right, let's get some power up here. So the power grid is over here. So people are going to be making their way over. There we go, some power lines over, so it's up and running to a certain extent. At the minute, you can just do some basic, you can stop over. Or you can do some basic skiing. Oh, the power grid, hold on. Yeah, I've got enough power for that. We can do a couple of like curling or skiing slope options there. Nothing too, you know, amazing. We can drop, oh, drop in some hot springs. Oh, that would be so good to like squeeze some of these in like every so often. Oh, I can't get any just there. Right, squeezing a hot spring just there. How do they look? Oh, they do look good, don't they? They do look good. Uh, what's this building here missing? Uh, no road access. In what way is there no road access? Do you want me to upgrade these roads here? Is that the road access that you require? Oh, undo. Hold on, hold on. I've just done the wrong one. Turn the anarchy off a second. 
I don't get what he's talking about. No road access. Hmm. Okay, I think it's working now. It's not really complaining at this point, is it? Anyway, gotta get loads of them hot springs in. That'll be pretty good. Oh, the ski slope lights. That'll be kind of sweet to add in. We have uh, the snow gun. Ooh, requires water and electricity. Okay. We have the rescue tower. The ski resort lodge. Did I get that in? I didn't, did I? No. Um, okay, we're going to squeeze this in just here. We've got the cross-country skiing park. So we, this is where we need a few more roads, maybe. Leading out of here. So I also need to do paths as well, don't I? So let me just get rid of these two. Actually, no, I don't think I want it over that way. Well, yeah, I'm going to want it over that way. Uh, delete that one. And I'll relocate this just there. Just so I can maybe push this up a bit. There we go. Uh, Cross-country skiing. Or maybe punch that out there. Get rid of that bit. Just here. Delete the road a tad. Just to bring it to here. We'll modify some of the land around it. Push it back. There we go. Don't look too sharp to add it within. So then this becomes a trail that you kind of ski down to the very bottom. Which is really nice. We've got the fire pit ones. Oh, damn. This is going to be good. Let me drop a couple of these here. What are they like? Little fire pit forest areas. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's a nice little area already, isn't it? We have the uh, skating rink. So all this stuff will kind of squeeze in all the little nooks and crannies. We have the ice sculpture park. Throw one over there. I feel like we do... No, we can actually put them across here as well, can't we? We have the ski lodge. Did I get the ski lodge in? There's, there's so many different ones and stuff. It's hard to keep track. I uh, did the curling, didn't we? Yeah. And um, we've got over here the snowman park. That's the another one that I was missing. So what's this complaining about? All right, put it there instead. So we've got the very basics in before we start adding in the actual proper modded content. Um, how is my city doing anyway? Are we all okay? I know I've, I've ignored you for quite some time. <laughs> um, but yeah. Hence too shabby. How's the car parks? There's a couple of vehicles in the car parks right now. I've got to make sure I, I get rid of all the parking around these roads. But I think we're now ready, right? Yeah. So that's all in then. I've got a lot of that stuff in. There's, there's still more. I, I'll still add more stuff as time goes on and whatnot. But I need to then start looking at the modded content. Which revolves around... Got a ski resort there. <laughs> uh, the skiing stuff. So public transport. We have the skiing stage. And we also have the cable cart. So let's... Um, how does a dirt road look in the snow? Okay. I might... I'll probably start it up here, but I might have a dirt road that kind of enables you to drive all the way up here because we are going to need that ability to get them up. If that makes sense. I know if you kind of look over the picture of one of them. Which one is it? Is it the cable carts? No, I think it's in, in the search thing here. Ski spawners. Is it the ski trails? You can kind of get a glimpse of how it looks. So create realistic ski slopes with active skiers. Ski trails are invisible one lane one-way roads that allow bus stops uh use a skier spawn points to create sightseeing okay right i got you i think i i've got it is what i'm trying to say i think i have it right now um is this new stuff so back into the roads then and we'll make it come off this so if i do a little bend like that 
so you know we can make them ski across it but it's to really just make the road be able to go in the direction that i want it to so if i pick a point up here maybe and i think we'll start with one 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 route and then we'll add more to the area's time goes on but if we start up there and then we'll just kind of like bring this down all right it's following the road layout and whatnot uh, not the road layer, sorry, the, the elevation of it. Actually, let me undo... Oh, hang on, if I upgraded that. Now, you can't really change much of it, can you? Let me uh, delete again. I wanted to follow the... the actual lines of the terrain. Which it can do. You just gotta make sure you get the right setting on. There we go. And bring that brush size down. There we go. So the road goes up there. You don't really see it that much. And whatnot. Still got to do a little bit of fine tuning to it. But for the most part, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Because it allows me then with the... Where's the sightseeing tools? The ski stage in here. So if we start one there, and then we have the other stage in, let's just say, where's the road? Just go to here, and then finish that up there. We can have it all skis down here, and it's end up at that point is what I'm trying to get with. <laughs> it's what I'm trying to get with right now. I could actually get rid of this road and use a bit of magic with the anarchy. Oh, no, 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 no. Undo. Oh, I've messed that up now, haven't I? What have you done, you fool? I right, delete that bit just so I can delete this. Oh dear God! Look at the mess I've now made. Right, where is it? There it is. Straight up, straight up. Right, I know what I'm trying to do. I right, will take it to that point. But I think we should actually bend it in. Like that. There we go. Okay. We have it to a certain degree. Then, you have the skier spawner. I'm not sure what this does. What does the skier spawner do? Let me view this. It just says skier spawner. Like, is that it? Uh, it allows you to do a sightseeing bus. Ah! Oh, so I don't need to actually drop that down, do I? So I drop them there. Then I can't do the line. That's where you have to find it in this mod, skiing trails. So if I come up here, and if I do a nice... Try and follow the elevation. Going down. As if that was something that they would do themselves. All the way down to... There. Right. I'd have to just sort this out with a bit of terraforming. Um... Which ain't too shabby, because obviously trails get formed over time, don't they? And put it into play mode. Obviously, I don't have the route set up yet. Uh, sightseeing bus tour. So if I went from there 
Wait, why can't I create a new line? Create a new line. There we go. To here? And then how did it go back up then? Like that? So I take it that you're going to see him go up there. <laughs> but let me just, just, just roll with it for a split second. Oh yeah, hold on. I forgot about that. Got to reskin it to the skier. So I think these buses will initially be buses. Oh no, there we go, skiers. So let them do what they've got to do. Oh, there we go, and they're now going down. They're now actually going down the trail. You got to make the trails nice and whatnot. But we're actually having skiers going down. <laughs> I know, I know. Can I change the amount of, like, technically buses on this line, vehicles? And if I pull it up to 24, so we have 24 skiers going down it all the time. I don't know how it's going to work watching them then ski up the road. But we also need to set up the uh, ski slope. So there's one at the bottom there. There's another one here. I've got to set up many different routes, haven't I? That's what I need to do. But come on, you gotta admit it's pretty cool, right? You gotta admit it's pretty cool. So, are we making any money yet? Not really. We haven't really had any visitors, so to speak. And I think because of how open everything is, to be honest with you. But I don't care if we don't make any money. It's 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 all part of the fun. I didn't know it's actually going to be an actual park. But then how does the cable cart system work then for this? So, the main ski terminal. Um, how did that place on? Paid passes are required to ride the chairlift to the top of the slopes. Oh, hang on. Uh, but the view alone is worth the price. So how does one of those fit on? Does it actually like... Okay, you can't... Oh, yeah, okay, I get it. Right, it won't so work in the way I wanted there. it to because of... Um, so that's going to come up to there. I think it would be better here, wouldn't it? Right, let me put that one there. Delete you. Oh, we can actually now see him going up the hill. Do we just pretend that don't, that don't exist? <laughs> I'm now choking on my own breath. Damn it, you're wrong. There's a lot of skiers waiting to go down the slope as well. Um, right. Okay, let me just get this right anyway, because we could be creating something very beautiful right now. So just make this stick out a tiny bit. There we go. Put the other one there. What's this here? This is a terminus. Uh, after a scenic ride at the slopes, be ready to safely dismount and quickly clear the area. Oh, is that one I need to place up here instead of that? It is, isn't it? Yeah. And then the cable car system. We got We can't bend this as well. So it kind of just has to be <laughs> as it is. Oh, it's oh, it's over on this side. Oh man, I didn't even realize that. Right, let me delete because put it to there. I can make it. Come from here. Like that. It's a shorter route. This is now dipping down. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's bring this up. And then that will be used. There we go for the ski slope stuff. Uh, cable car. Can we not change it to actual ski slopes? Um, you can't, can you? Which is a shame. You can't actually change the ski slope. Even though I've done ski lift cables, you can't actually do ski slopes. But that's fine. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. But that gets to the very top up here, which this is also dipped down. So it's, it's just more for a visual guide, isn't it? Than actually, you know, for it actually working. But all the skiers are going down, which is good. 
I might set up a couple of um, runs right now as well. We could clear some trees out of the current slopes and kind of get it to where it needs to go. That would be kind of handy. So, all right, pause. Ski trails. So it all happens up here, really, doesn't it? So I have this one come out. And I don't know why that one's elevated. So I'll have it run kind of near it. Just to begin with. Goes down a much scarier way. And then cuts into there. Right. And I think what I'll do is pause. Delete that one just there. And have it just come from that side. And then have like another one come out there. That will run simultaneously up. That would also come in. Pause. So that one goes there. And that one goes there. So we have three runs now coming down. Which we'll sort them out and make them a little bit more pretty. But what I want to focus on first is... The... The tour. So... I'm going to start it all over again. Right. We'll start it there, and can I get it to go down each individual slope, if I get it to go into... To there... Oh wait, that's, is that not going in? Oh, it is. Get it to go to there, and then straight back up. Right, and then get it to try and get down the middle one. There. So they're all going to actually kind of stop towards the middle, but that's fine. To there, and then this one should be able to get it, yeah, to go down to there, which is fine. And then start again. So that one trail hits all three, so we can, like, disperse them quite nicely. All of the skiers. So turn into a, a skier thingy again. Put maximum amount of people on it. Se 70. Oh my good god. That's a lot, isn't it? Right, that is a lot. And then just sort out these elevations of it. Because they are freaking high. Why can't I get to it? Hold on. There we go. It's a little bit better for that. Um, right, I like some of it, how it's done the little trails and paths like that. I just want to smoothen it off. Go for a bigger brush size as well. I'm trying to get this one done. What's going on here? But you can visually see the trails, which is what I like as well. I'm just not liking this big cliff edge just there. Oh, undo. So what I'll do is pump it out a bit more. And do something like that there, so it looks like a little bit more... ...tempting. There we go, smoothing that edge there, so it looks like a bit more of a drop. Not too dissimilar to what we placed down before, but yeah, you can visually see the uh, the slopes right now. Got to remove some of the trees that are in the middle. And as time goes on, we eventually have it so even that there's always somebody coming down each one. It's just, we got to wait for like a ton of uh, skiers to, to, to kind of go down. <laughs> so let me just kind of get rid of some of the trees then. So, brush options... 
and get rid of these going down and then what we could do is we can place tree more trees just technically around the area around the runs so it looks like they forged a path through the uh, the forest that would look kind of cool wouldn't it all right just down to there and this needs power as well so what would be the best way to give it a little bit of power just drop down hmm solar panel parking for now yeah why not i don't know if it needs water or not i don't know i'm not 100 percent but that's all in uh can I do a bit of smoothing over in here that's all in to the trees i want these big beautiful conifers and we start by because you can see where the path is uh the ski slope is now that makes sense so let me turn the anarchy off because the anarchy shouldn't allow you to place it over. So if I remember, I could bring a brush size and dotted it down like that. I think I'd do this myself. I think it's easier to place it down like this. Could do a load of conifers, do the second style of conifers as well, and then. Um, remove the tree you can you can just about see the trails but we make them more defined so remove them again ourselves and you can just about see it. so if i kind of oh, run through the middle there uh, run down here up to there there's obviously this one they got street names so it makes it a little bit easier to see Coming down to here. We'll kind of keep this one open because it, norm it normally is quite open towards the bottom of like a the skiing area. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, do I? I have no idea what I'm talking about. There we go. We, we can see we can you can see a couple of runs now. can't you you can see a couple of runs but yeah it is pretty sweet i'll get a couple of trees here on, on this little path well it's not a path it's a road isn't it just to kind of finish that off not too shabby and are we now getting a uh, skiers going down each one or are we still yeah there's the third one just there so they're all coming down that ain't too bad. So we technically now have a working ski slope. <laughs> and the big backlog of, of uh, skiers has now disappeared. So they're all at some point somewhere within the system. Which ain't too bad. Damn, boy. The damn. And uh, not making any money. Because while it, how it technically has to work is they have to kind of go through the um the main building which none of them really go through the main building which i don't really mind i don't really care that we're not making any money off that it's not my purpose it's just to add in something beautiful i mean at some point in the future i might switch it all up to try and start making money but at the moment because we've only got thirteen thousand population it ain't too shabby it ain't too shabby. It's a nice addition to Snowtown, isn't it? So give me some nice suggestions of what you think I should call or rename the ski resort. Now that we've kind of got it in, I can then start to trim some of the fat around the ski resort here for what the actual park is. There we go. 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 Boom. And just make it a little bit wider here. And then just kind of bulk it out to there. Good stuff. Good stuff. So we can actually see the name a little bit better further down. It's now over the top of it. Nice, 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 nice. Lots of people visiting. Lots of people coming around. Uh, I don't know if anyone's stopping at these places. They actually are, which is pretty sweet. Last thing I need to do then is get rid of the parking or add some parking restrictions in. So they all slowly try and push themselves 
to the par the car park area that we did add in. So I know some of the buildings have their own little parking on it. Which if they park there, that's fine. Yeah, nothing we can really do about that. But this gets more vehicles pushed over to there. Fills it all up. Makes it look a little bit more busy than what it actually is. And then we're on to our, our right winner, boys. Just going to get it off all this area and up here. Have I missed any roads? There we go. There's a lot more vehicles now in the car park, as you can see. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Goes all the way up to here as well. Let me get rid of them. And pretty sweet. So we now have leg legit skiers. I know nobody's going to be using this. I know 100%, but it's just for the visual effect, isn't it? It really is. It's pretty cool, man. I'm happy with it. I mean, the only thing I will be, you know, I'm kind of like um and ahhing about right now is the fact that we're not making any money from it. I didn't know that was a thing. I've completely set it up wrong. But it is what it is, isn't it, at the end of the day. It is what it is. Seniac. Can you make path come from that? Uh, this snow thingy. We don't really have a path to choose, do we? Um, let me just quickly see. If I anarchy it. So you can make a path come out of it, but it doesn't really do much, does it? <laughs> it don't. It legit don't. But we're going to end it for here anyway, guys. We've added a nice little ski resort. People are actually coming over. Which is pretty good as well. They're actually coming over. You can see people having fun. Oh, someone just fell over on the uh, the ice. That looks like a hole into the void. But it ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. And Snowtown is still looking as beautiful as always. So we've still got loads of expansions to do in the next coming episodes. Likes of things we got to get up and running. But the ski resort is now in. They can have some fun. Let loose. In the snow. <laughs> but yeah. Until next time, guys. I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.